In this movie we'll show you how we can uh, select uh, edges and modify uh, faces when you create sketches. So um, in this example here uh, it may be that we need to uh, machine the dish with a ball nose cutter and this uh, pocket here with a, an end mill. So uh, if we wanted to uh, select um, sketches from this model, the normal way of doing it would be to uh, pick, um, pick faces and then having chosen the face, create a sketch. But that's going to create a single sketch right the way around the outside of here, which is not going to be quite what we want. So we want a different method of selecting a sketch. So to do that, we right click the mouse and we're going to say pick edges. So what we'll do now is we'll pick the edges. So as you hover the mouse, if you can see that, over uh, an edge, it selects it. So I click and you can see that it's selected with that uh, button there. So now I hold down the control key and go around and select the other edges that we want. So to do the selecting I'm using the left hand mouse button and I'm using the center mouse wheel to rotate and if we hold down the control key at the same time we can manipulate the model around so that we can see the, uh, the edges that uh, we need to select. So holding down the control key and click the left hand mouse button okay so having selected those then we right click and we say make to sketch so that now creates a sketch of that feature and then we can use that to uh, define a pocketing operation just on that area of the part. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll make a sketch of this pocket here. Now the way that we would do that is we would just go pick faces, right click and say make a sketch from the face. So we've now got two sketches there, this one and the one with the uh, pocket. Now this one here it finishes along this line so what we might want to do is we might want to extend that sketch so that that bottom line there comes outside of the uh, feature so that when we machine it we're not left with fillets in the corner there. So <clears throat> if we go into here and we click the plus uh, button next to the um, sketch then that shows us the individual elements that go to make up the sketch so if we click on any of these items here we can see the uh, the lines highlighted so in this case here what we'd want to do is we need to move this bottom line and then extend those other two lines so if I choose, so I want that line, this line, and that one. So if I do this one first, and then come down into the properties windows here, this shows me the start and end point of that uh, line. So I want to choose, change my Y value for the start and end. So if I say make that minus 5, you can see how the line has moved. So now I do the same with the end point and make that minus 5. So that's moved the line across. Now I just need to join up those other two lines that uh, did meet it. So it's that one there. So I click on the end point and make that minus 5. So that extends that line. And then the next line over here, that will be the start point, not the end because it's going the other way. So I make that minus 5. And click so now what I've got is that sketch is the original sketch but with that line moved by an amount so that I can then use that 
to um, uh, make sure that the tool goes over the, the end.